Hi everyone! Today is going to be a first impression on something that I have been really curious about more lately than normal and that is the velvet manicures. I picked this up at Walmart. It's the Nail Rock Nail Velvet Manicure set and this one comes in the color navy and I've been curious about this kind of a manicure for a long time. I'm not really one to put on anything that's really risen off the nails. I have been using rhinestones lately because I've been trying to get out of that zone but like you can see it's only one rhinestone on each nail and I make sure that they're up here by the cuticle so they don't bother me when I'm doing anything, doing schoolwork, typing on the computer, cooking, all that kind of stuff. I make sure that everything is up here because I'm not really ready for anything that drastic yet, I think. This is going to be a completely new thing for me because I am not used to doing anything without a top coat and obviously you can't do that with this kind of a manicure. So this is an all around new thing for me. Now I got this at Walmart. They usually retail for somewhere around $7 to $12 depending where you get it. I lucked out, this one was on clearance and I thought two dollars can't pass that up especially considering I was really iffy on it I got up to the register and this wasn't two dollars it was actually one dollar so I really couldn't pass it up then um, I'm assuming it's because the box was really mangled like this when I got it in fact I had to open it up and make sure that everything was in there because the box is so beaten up but everything is in there it comes with a bottle of polish. Like I said before, this is in the color navy. It looks really black in the bottle. It looks really black in the camera, but it is a navy blue. And then it comes with this pot of the nail velvet. And that's what that looks like. It's more rough fibery than I thought it would be. I know you can't really see it on camera but I thought it was going to be a little bit more fluffy, softer. This has more of a fiberglass kind of itchy look to it so we'll see how it is. It's much more rough than I thought it was going to be. So the first thing they tell you to do is to paint all your nails with two coats of the Nail Rock Polish in the navy blue. I've already prepped my nails I have washed my hands. I have used a gel cuticle remover. I use this one by Sally Hansen. I put it on all my nails and I rubbed it in. I took my cuticle pusher and pushed all my cuticles back. I did not cut them. I just used the cuticle remover to help push everything back. I used a base coat and today I'm using the sticky base coat by Creative Nail Design on all my nails and let that dry. So we're going to start out by doing two coats on every nail. I am not going to do the velvet on all my nails because I don't really like having that much, I don't know, something that different. I'm not really a big fan of having it on all my nails. I like doing my accent nails or something like this. So I'm going to be doing the blue on everything, but just the velvet on my ringer. I'm sorry, my ring and my middle finger. Now the first thing I'm noticing about this polish is that it's very streaky and extremely thin. And I'm sure after I get that second coat on there, that'll fix it a little bit. But If I'm planning on doing the actual polish by itself on a couple of the nails, I don't know if this is going to work out because I know that they're assuming that you're going to use the velvet over it, but I don't plan to do that on a couple of the nails, so we'll see how that works out. I have a bit of a shaky hand today. It's not the cleanest job I've ever done, but 
And that's okay because I'm going to end up cleaning up around the edges anyway. All right, we're gonna let that dry and then I'll do the second coat and then I'll come back when I'm ready to do the velvet. Okay, I have finished the rest of my nails. I have done a second coat on my pinky, pointer, and thumb. I've cleaned up around all my cuticles. I'm gonna do a second coat of the polish and then I have my pot ready and open. And then you dip it in the pot once you've actually done that finger. So I'm gonna do one finger at a time. Okay, now that I have my second coat on, I'm going to take the velvet and then you're going to place, this is going to be hard to really videotape, but I'm going to place my finger in the pot. Yeah, see it's really, really, really stiff. It's not soft like you think the velvet would be. It's much more stiff. It's kind of hard to get my whole finger in there. And it's not quite covered, so I'm going to try it again. Maybe if I loosen it up. Oh. Well, there's that. Yeah, it's very clumped up. I probably should have done this before I dipped the finger in there. And now I have fallout, but really I don't think that's going to make much difference because there is a lot of it. But it's very, very... fiberglass like thick itchy that's better I know that a lot of people have done reviews on other types of this kind of kit and all their kits come with a brush so this one didn't come with a brush this one just came with the pot and the the nail polish I happen to have a fan brush so what they tell you to do is just brush off the excess. It's not sticking to my finger, which is nice. And there it is. Now one thing I know that I probably should have done was pat everything in when all that excess was on there but really it's not that bad I mean I'm actually pretty shocked I wish it was a lighter color so you could really see what's going on my camera's just not wanting to pick it up but it's really surprisingly not that bad okay I'm gonna do my middle finger Not bad. Alright. Now this one's a little bit more messy because when I did my second coat, I did get some polish on my skin. And it did stick to the polish that was on my skin. But I'm sure that'll be able to be removed really easily. The nail polish remover. Okay. Not bad. Now what it tells you to do is to wait 15 minutes before you do anything which I really hate to say it but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do because I'm not that patient but that's all they tell you to do wait 15 minutes and then you're able to do whatever all I have to do now is clean up those nails and put a top coat on my three nails I did not do the velvet on I have put a fast drying top coat on my pinky, pointer finger, and my thumb 
For that I used the Pure Ice Girl on the Run Fast Drying Top Coat. This is $2 I believe at Walmart and Walgreens. I really do love this stuff. It's been about two minutes and my nails are already dry. And obviously I did not put any on the velvet. I'm going to be doing my normal stuff today. Uh, dishes and washing my hands throughout the day and I will check back in with you and let you know how that worked out because I really don't see that going over very well. This to me doesn't seem like it would be practical. Maybe they had done something so that way it'll actually stay but everyone washes their hands throughout the day hopefully and I just don't see this making it through that but I could be wrong so I will check back in with you and let you know. I will take there's a hair there. I will take photos outside in the natural lighting so you can see the actual color because like I said before I know that this looks extremely black but it is supposed to be blue. Hey guys it's been a couple hours I have washed my hands at least three times and they held up pretty well. I didn't do my, my right hand because I'm planning on taking this all off for another video. So I didn't bother to do my right hand. But after three hand washing sessions, maybe four, I can't really remember. They're still fuzzy. They're not as soft as they were before. But they are still intact. The tips are a little bit worn slightly they're a little bit less consistent but they are still fuzzy and they all are still there and if you were to look at them from far away you can't tell of course my camera doesn't want to focus there we go I really do like this product I didn't think I was gonna like it this much not bad I was really afraid that it was gonna make it difficult for me to wash my hands and I was not gentle I washed my hands like normal soaked up and lathered everything. I made sure that I got all my cuticles because I like to make sure that they're moisturized throughout the day so I was not light about it at all and they did pretty good. So I do recommend this product. This is the Nail Rock Nail Velvet Manicure Set. I got this one at Wal Walgreens? No, I got this one at Walmart. <laughs> Sorry on clearance but you can find it online ebay amazon i believe they still have it on their site i will put links down below for it but i was really really pleased with this set i didn't think that i was going to like the nail velvet as much as i do but it seems a little bit more practical than i would have originally thought so i do recommend this. I only paid a dollar for it because it was on clearance because I'm guessing because the box was all ripped up. The original price is normally between $7 and $12 depending on where you get it. And I would pay full price for this. This seems pretty worth it. I mean, especially after washing my hands throughout the day. I'm really impressed. If you enjoyed this video, please like down below and don't forget to share and subscribe. Comment down below and let me know what you would like to see next. I hope to see you again very soon. Bye.